Hello, in this video I'm gonna show you the first things I suggest you doing after first setting up your Huawei Nova um, 13 Pro. So the first thing is logging into the Huawei ID. Of course, if you don't want to do that, then you can skip it, feel free to do it. But if you, um, if you want to have access to all the features, then I suggest you just going to the settings. I'm gonna click on later here. Then click on login to Huawei ID. And now you can either register or uh, login if you already have an account. If you click on register, then you can follow the easy instructions on screen. But I, I already have an account. So I'm gonna um, like just enter the um, email and password. Then it will probably ask me to verify, uh, so it has been sent to the Huawei Nova 13, but I, I, because I already ha I also have this phone, but I'm gonna click on change verification method, and I'm gonna send it to my email address. Then I'm just gonna click uh, go to the my email account on my other device. If this verifi verification screen looks somewhat differently then you may have a button to get the code so you, you'll not get the email um, unless you click on get code so first you need to click on that then you'll get this email and you'll have the code that you need to type in and i'm gonna click on ok then i'm gonna click on skip and i'm gonna click on later here um, then there is a new version of something, so I'm just gonna update it because it's great to update everything on your phone to have it nice and secure. So this is like HMS Core. I don't know what HMS Core means, but I'm just gonna update it because probably it's some system stuff. So now it is installing and updating and it's all done. So. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first um, turn the volume down because it's quite loud. So um, let me click here and I'm gonna turn the notifications all the way down. Fine. And let's continue with the next step which is updating our system. So let's go to settings then scroll all the way down to system and updates, software update and it'll check for available updates. You can see that my software is up to date, but if your C is not, then I recommend updating because it makes your phone more secure, um, also it makes it run more smoothly and have the newest available features. So um, if there's any, then you can just click on download and install, then wait, uh, you can uh, do other stuff on your phone while it's being downloaded, and then it'll prompt you to restart your phone in order to apply the update. Now let's continue with the next step, which is gonna be um, updating the apps. So go to App Gallery, then it asks you to install bloatware, so of course we're gonna skip that. Uh, now you can see that there's a new version of the App Gallery itself, if it is in your case as well, just click on update. Then it'll close uh, the app in a moment and uh, you can reopen it. So now it should close it, I believe. Yes, and it says updating underneath. And now it is updated, so we can go to our gallery again. Then click on me. I'm gonna skip the blower. Then app updates and here click on view more. You can see what's gonna be updating, uh, updated after clicking on update all. And I'm gonna update all because we want to have the newest security fixes as well for our apps. And some apps won't run without an update. So as we wait, now we can continue with the next step, which is uninstalling the bloatware that we have on our phone, like the um, like this stupid uh, a games folder or other stuff. So. So this business, entertainment, social, lifestyle games, I would just get rid of all of that and I'm gonna show you how to, how to, to like get rid of it. So open the folder that you want to get rid of, then click on the settings in the top right corner, manage recommendations, turn off um, 
all of these uh, switches, then go back. And now you can go to home screen, press and hold on the folder and click on remove. And you need to, uh, unfortunately, you need to do that separately for all of the folders. But as you can see, it's not that difficult. So we can simply do it. And for the top apps folder, they are already installed, installed, the apps that are here. So I'm just gonna press and hold on the apps and click on uninstall. Now the Bing app, I also don't like the Bing app, but if you do, you can keep it. Like, that's not a big deal. Then um, Snapchat, if you don't want it, you can uninstall it. If you want to keep it, then keep it. In me time, I don't really know what is what it is, so I'm just gonna uninstall it because I don't really need apps that I don't know uh, the purpose for. So now, since we've gotten rid of the apps that we don't need, we can go to the settings and do another step, which is pretty important, which is setting up our screen lock. So screen lock is um, really important, especially uh, for making your phone secure. Mm. So, let's go to biometrics and password, then lock screen password, and if you don't have any set, then you'll be asked to, uh, to set it now. You can set it as a 6 digit pin or change password type to 4 digit pin, custom, pattern or alphanumeric password. I'm gonna select pattern, then I'm gonna draw it. Mm. Before we continue with, uh, with redrawing it to confirm, Make sure that the pass pattern or password that you've created um, is a one that you can remember and won't forget because in case you forget uh, your screen lock, then you need to reset your phone and all of the data will be lost uh, besides the one that has been backed up. But if there's anything that you haven't backed up, then it'll just be lost. So make sure it's uh, something that you can remember and also that it's hard to guess by strangers. But it's still worth it to make your phone secure. So um, I just still recommend that because, um, you know, uh, who would want a stranger to use their phone? Uh, now you, well, you can also set the fingerprint. It is really convenient and also it's secure. So let's go to the fingerprint ID then enter our screen lock. Of course, you can skip that, but I really want to have a fingerprint because it's secure. Then I'm gonna click on get started. Okay, and if you have a screen protector installed, some screen protectors won't work with a fingerprint sensor, but you can still try try to see if it works with yours. So um, I'm just gonna place my finger on the fingerprint sensor, which is under the screen. And we need to just tap and release multiple times. Remember to move your finger between each scan and so scans the whole area of your finger. Then you need to un unroll the edges, so move your finger even more. And again and again until it's done. And now we can click on done. Mm. So there's also the face recognition, which I don't recommend because uh, this phone doesn't have an IR sensor which would be able to securely unlock it with uh, face recognition. Although if you really want, mm, I'm gonna show you how to do it, but if you don't have special needs that would uh, make you want uh, the face recognition, then I honestly wouldn't mm, set it up on your uh, place. Because I know it may seem like uh, here at the top there is a IR sensor, but that's just two cameras and that's all. I don't know why did they make it so big, the um, dynamic island. So I'm just gonna go to, with the face recognition just to show you, but I don't recommend it. I think only iPhones have the IR sensors, which are actually secure for face recognition. So I'm gonna click on get started, then position my face within the frame. Then I'm gonna click on done. 
and now it's set i'm gonna change unlock device to direct unlock because i prefer that option so after unlocking with face i don't need to slide up i can just look at the phone and it'll autom automatically go to the uh, system without like bypassing the lock screen and now i'm gonna show you how to unlock your phone in these three methods so the first one is gonna be with the fingerprint sensor so you can just tap in the correct spot um and it'll just work like you don't even need to turn on your screen but of course if you want you can double tap then tap the sensor and it'll also unlock to unlock with the face you can just raise your phone and look at it and it'll get unlocked like that and then um to unlock it with the, the screen lock swipe up on lock screen Okay, I, I think I need to click, then swipe up. Okay, and now it is unlocked. So now let's continue with the next step, which is setting up our uh, wallpaper. So if you want to change it, um, it's great to do it. Um, we can do it now. If you don't, then uh, you can skip that step. I'm just gonna take a picture of this plant. So I'm gonna click on next, enable in the camera app then I'm gonna take a picture here and I can go back to home screen go to settings then in settings uh, let's go to home screen and style wallpapers then click on ok and you need to click on media and files and allow management of all files then go back and go to wallpapers and now you can either set any of those that are available in the system or just select from gallery then I'm gonna click on next click on the photo that I want to set I can adjust it I can also blur it out a bit but I'm gonna leave it unblurred or maybe I'll just blur it out a bit so it's not that grainy and then I'm gonna click on apply and you can set it to lock screen home screen or both I'm gonna set the lock screen And now let's see our wallpaper. So this is how it looks on the lock screen. Looks pretty fine. I could have taken a better picture though. And uh, now let's continue with another step, which is downloading important apps. So let's go to app gallery and uh, downloading apps from app gallery is unnecessarily difficult. Um, but yeah. So as we search for any app that may be important to you, like Facebook, then you can see that Facebook, instead of having install button, has get button. What it means is basically you need to click on get, then click on OK. It'll get you to a weird website. Um, I'm going to click on not now here. No. Then it has gotten me uh, not where I wanted. OK, I'm going to click on agree. Now I've gotten to like the website of Facebook. So I'm gonna just click on download APK. Then click on download. Now I'm gonna click on here and downloads. And now uh, you can see it gets me to the Facebook. So I'm gonna click on allow. Then I'm gonna click on install. Open. And now the Facebook is installed. So uh, like most of the most popular apps will be installed this way. It is, how I said, unnecessarily difficult, but this is how it, how it is. So if you're not really experienced with using phones and you're kind of scared of clicking on the weird like websites, downloading APK files, then that's fine. That's absolutely fine. You can just download only the apps that if you search for them say install instead of get but i was searching for tiktok and it showed me that filter games whatever yes here is the tiktok so you can install it normally and this will actually work uh, pretty easily uh, although if any app says get then it may be more difficult and each time it'll be different so for example if i search for Firefox, which is browser. Mm. 
then it's it gets even more difficult but uh, that's nothing compared to downloading google chrome which i wasn't able to do twice so i'm just gonna click on get to next to the firefox browser but i'm not gonna show you how to install google chrome because I, honestly i wasn't able to do it on three different huawei phones so uh, here i'm just gonna select uh, this phoenix uh, whatever arm 64 is the correct version then it'll start downloading so i'm just or it didn't so i'm just gonna click on download before it disappears then downloads you can see this time it wasn't the facebook website nor the firefox website it was github.com so it's a different website each, each time but now let's just wait until it downloads so the installation process after something is downloaded is pretty similar just need to click on allow then install so let's click on allow install and we can click on open then start browsing and you can see it works mm, but you can also just get uh, like microsoft edge or opera from the app gallery if you want to install a browser so so it'll be easier i suggest only installing the apps that are available here uh, i know there's not much of them available but um, like it's just because um uh, Huawei has been banned in the United States and doesn't have the Google services. So now uh, we can continue with the next step. Since we have a browser, we can, for example, change our default browser. And in order to change our default browser, we need to go to apps and services in settings, then go to default apps and go to um, browser app. And you can change uh, to the one that you like. This is gonna be our default browser one now. So since it's our default browser, we can, for example, do something like pressing and holding on the browser that's at the bottom right now and replacing it with Firefox. So we have easy access to the Firefox now. And the um, last thing I want to show you is connecting your phone with your payment card if you want to use your phone to tap to pay in stores. So in order to set it up, go to the um, go to the app that's named probably Huawei Wallet. Wallet, yeah. Here, next, na agree. Now you can download the packet language package. So that's what I'm gonna do. And here you can. Um, I'm gonna allow it to access all files. Then let's go to cards and let's see if we can even add. No, we actually can't add the um, the like payment card. Let's see if we can. Most probably not, but let's see if we can get download the Google Wallet. No, we can't. So um. Actually, we just can't add our card to the phone. That's pretty unfortunate, but this is how it works. And that's all for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.